Welcome back to another episode of One Meal at a Time with Oscar, where you and I make memories across Canada one meal at a time. We're visiting Dolly's Fish Market in Prince Rupert, British Columbia today. To get here from Vancouver, you can brave the number one highway, continue north on 97 at Cash Creek, then go west on Highway 16 at Prince Rupert. The drive would take approximately 16 and a half hours without stopping, or You can be here in about two hours by taking a direct flight from Vancouver. We decided to get here by train through Via Rail Canada from Jasper, Alberta. I will post a video on the exact route, time, and tips you should know if you travel by train to British Columbia. When it comes to seafood, we know freezing fish and shellfish shortly after they're caught locks in freshness. According to Dolly's Fish Market's website. They flash freeze their products the same day they come off the fishing boats. Flash freezing, like the way it sounds, is an accelerated process where seafood is frozen immediately after they're caught. It uses ultra low temperatures, typically before four degrees Celsius, to freeze the product solid in a matter of minutes. Flash freezing locks in the nutrition texture. And the flavor that you would expect from any sashimi grade quality seafood. We wanted to try their whole Dungeness crab, but they were out of stock, so we ended up ordering a smoked salmon sampler, three different clam chowders, Dolly's house seafood salad, two pieces of halibut fish and chips, and the world famous blackened halibut elite burger. I'm going to start our first dish of the day with the blackened halibut elite burger. Because hands down, it is the best halibut burger I've ever eaten. The burger consists of three layers: the perfectly cooked halibut fillet as a base, filled with juicy loco shrimp on top, and finalized with Dungeness crab meat with melted jalapeno, Havarti cheese, and hollandaise sauce on top. The burger also comes with lettuce, tomato, and Dolly's homemade tartar sauce. The inside of the fish is tender, juicy, and flaky, while the outside is crusty and well seasoned. As a bold flavor lover, I am amazed by how their chef managed to skillfully turn the white-fleshed, mild-tasting halibut into an intensely flavored dish that ascended me into heaven, one bite at a time. The perfectly seared fish is moist and juicy. And his finger licking good. If you can only eat one meal in Prince Rupert, order this blackened halibut elite burger. You can leave me a comment below and thank me later. The next dish is a mix of in-house smoked salmon served with their homemade herb cream cheese and grilled baguette. We were offered cold smoked sockeye salmon, regular jerky, and candied salmon. I didn't know the difference between cold smoked, hot smoked, and cured salmon until making this video. Smoke your salmon roughly 32 degrees Celsius for about 18 to 24 hours. You get cold smoked salmon, which is fresher and has less smoky flavor, while the texture is incredibly luxurious and velvety. Hot smoked salmon is cured, then smoke above 49 degrees Celsius. Yielding a smokier flavor and flaky texture. Glazes such as maple syrup, teriyaki, and black pepper are commonly added after curing and before hot smoking the salmon. Cured salmon, or lox, is salmon that has been cured in salt brine for a longer time, but not smoked. The smoked salmon you find in most buffets or bagels are either cold smoked or cured salmon. Whereas hot smoked salmon is often used in seafood soup, salmon fettuccine, quiche, or omelets. Back to the sampler, we loved their cold smoked and candied salmon, and found the salmon jerky a bit too salty and chewy to swallow. We also bought some peppercorn candied salmon for friends and family to try. I will share their feedback with you later. We also ordered all three of their clam chowders. Boston style, white and red. Boston, or known to most people as New England, is a cream-based chowder that is thick, rich, and full of clam flavor. Red chowder, unlike Boston, 
has no milk or cream added. It is a tomato-based soup with mostly onions and clams. At first, I thought the white chowder would taste something like Rhode Island clam chowder, where the soup is made with clear broth and contains neither cream nor tomato. But as you can see from the video, the white chowder looks almost the same as the Boston chowder, just a bit lighter in consistency and flavor. We're curious to learn about the soup, but the staff told us the only difference is the ingredients. Oh well. Out of all three, the Boston chowder was our favorite. The flavor was rich and awesome. Next, we had the Dolly's House Seafood Salad, where you will find a fresh Dungeness crab, shrimp, and slices of homemade smoked salmon on chopped romaine lettuce. Their crab and shrimp were so fresh that they taste literally like the ocean. Along with their world-class smoked salmon and a bit of the lemon zest for zing, oh my. The water-rich lettuce neutralizes the mix of saltwater fish and wood smoke aroma. There's nothing like mixing and biting into the seafood and vegetables together that make your taste buds scream with joy with every bite you take. Last but not least, we had their West Coast Halibut Fish and Chips. Melissa and I have very different opinions when evaluating the quality of a perfect fried fish batter. In her opinion, the coating should be golden, light, and crispy when you bite into it. I think the coating should be thick and puffy, and the crispness should follow by a touch of chewiness. Of course, we all have our personal preferences, and that's another reason to love Dolly's Fish Market even more. Not only is their fish locally caught and processed on the premise, but you also have a choice to either pan fry the fish, or fry with their seasoned tempura batter, or gluten-free batter. Comment below with how you like your fish and chips. To summarize our dining experience at Dolly's, I'd say they speak fish, seafood, and ocean. Here's the thing. Taste is an important ingredient in understanding how we find pleasure from eating. A major factor that affects taste is flavor. Flavor is what we derive from foods, and most often it is the flavor that causes us to find pleasure from eating. I found my joy from the rapture of ocean flavor on my palate. If you enjoy seafood as much as I do, I would highly recommend giving Dolly's Fish Market a try. Alright, that's it for today. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video.